matter what God going to do with your life today. You know what? You need to wake up and look around and say, God, here I am. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, God, because I belong to you. And I know that he's going to make this day glorious. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Moments with the Messiah. Today you will find us in the glorious book of James. Hallelujah, James. You'll find us in James. The book of James, say, amen. And I believe we're going to be in James chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. James chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. Let's go to God in prayer. And our reader for today will be this wonderful, blessed Mother Gail Powell. Amen. All right, let's go to God in prayer. I'm feeling wonderful. Day. I don't know about you, but ain't nothing going to bring me down. Are you listening to me? Uh, you know what? Let, 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 let me just go on and pray, because if I get to talk about how I feel right now, uh, that's yeah. all I'm be saying. It ain't about me. It's about Jesus. But I tell you what, yeah. he's making me feel mighty good at this moment. Dear oh. Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you for another beautiful day of sunshine. Oh, so yeah. many people on the yeah. line, God, the numbers are increasing. More and more people are connected to hear about you. So, God, we ask you today, just like every day, Lord, whatever you're doing at this season, just don't do it without us. We are here to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. And, God, we already receive your word gladly. So we can be able to tell the world about the goodness that we found. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And amen. He among you afflicted. Let him pray. If any Mary, let him sing songs. Now, let me tell you something. You know, we live in a day where even in the church, people want to be closet cases. Closet cases. Mm. And, you know, if somebody give a real testimony, real testimony, oh. that may sound a little raunchy, may sound a little toe up, and I notice that people like to screw up their faces, you know, like oh. ain't that never happened to you. Well... What I want to say to you this morning, that if you really need some help, never be ashamed to ask for it. Hallelujah. See, I want you to realize something. If I was to put a type, if I was going to preach this as a sermon, mm-hmm. the sermon would be stop pretending. Oh, yeah. Stop pretending. We like to pretend that everything is perfect. Oh. And I had one of our wonderful members send me a devotion the other day. Say everything is not perfect, but God is perfect. See, I love that right there. In fact, it's still in my mind. Yeah. Because I realized something. Even though my life ain't perfect, God is. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and I don't have to pretend. Amen. Thank you. She said, come together and pray for one another. How are we going to pray for you if we don't even know what to pray for sometimes? Uh-huh. See, you, 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 you want to let out the good. You'll say a little bit about the bad, but we can't hear none of the ugly. Yeah. What do you think would happen if we came together as a church family, as people that are the body of Christ, and really began to tell the real deal behind our life? And we began to really say what's going on. But no, a lot of us will pretend. We'll pretend like ain't nothing going on. Uh, but let me explain something to you. Every last one of us is a sinner. Say my grace. Yeah. Every last one of us have problems. Amen. Amen. Every one of us are dealing with something right here today. Amen. Every last one of Every last one of y'all. Every one of us. Amen. But let me okay. tell you something. I want you to realize something. The Bible says, give me the next verse, give me the next verse, give me the next 
first. Amen. Amen. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Did you hear that? Thank you, Jesus. See, 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 let me tell you something with the issue is. You want to pretend that you don't want to call. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You know, the Bible says, confess your sins one to another. Mm. See, we don't want to do, we don't want to confess our sins one to another. If we could be totally honest, let me tell you what is the issue in the church today is that we cannot be brutally honest. Mm -hmm. If we can be brutally honest, can you imagine, and you know what, that's why you gotta always be on moments with the side. Because God can really engage you in something today. It's all about Jesus. Not about me. It's about God. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that if we can get to the point in our lives where we would just be brutally honest. Mm -hmm. Do you know how mad the devil would be? <laughs> because if we were brutally honest with each other about our situations, Vicky, about our dilemmas, maybe, about our true troubles, do you realize that if we were able to peel off the layers yeah. of pretending and get down to the real deal where the pain is, where the heart is, do you know that we would experience true fellowship? Yeah. Amen. Oh, God has given you something today, Saints. We would experience true fellowship because those things which were in secret have come to the light. Now, James is trying to tell you that if you could just be brutally honest, there would be such a fellowship within the saints. But see, one other ingredient would have to be added. Uh -huh. And let me tell you what that other ingredient is. We would have to not be judgmental. Uh -huh. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Lord, oh, my God. Uh -huh. God that'll help me this morning. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See me where you at today, uh -huh. baby. Oh, my God, Sam, if we could be brutally honest mm -hmm. about our situations, we could confess our sins one to another, and yeah. then on top of that, not be judgmental, but that. give the degree of support that your brothers and your sisters need. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something, say. They're tearing the doors off the church to get in here. We probably had to have service 24-7. Mm -hmm. Especially if we could do it without being judgmental. Mm -hmm. See, every, you know what, I'm trying to get through this. But what I'm trying to say, see, you may not think we know what you're thinking. You may think that we don't know what you're thinking. But we can tell by that little look in your eyes. Huh? Yeah, I wish I had some real things. Oh, 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 oh. See, this is this, this stuff we don't want to talk about. Oh, yeah. shh, 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 don't, don't say that. Shh. We just give you that look with our eyes. Oh, oh. See, we just give each other the look. Like, why don't she shut up? I don't know if quiet. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. Well, just maybe, maybe they're down low. Huh? They get yeah. rid of some, some baggage that they've been yeah. carrying for a long time. Is anybody on the line today? Maybe, maybe, maybe they love you enough to tell you the truth that they've been keeping yeah. hidden inside for a long time because they feel like they're around some people that may be able to bag ye one another's words. Bag ye one another's words. Bag ye one another's words and fulfill the law of Christ. Love it, their neighbor. Yeah. Ask yourself. Y'all 
I'll make you Get the trash out, baby. Take the trash out. Don't you be ashamed. Because the Bible says, cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. See, the reason why we don't want to confess our sins one to another, to very be honest with you, because people just gossip. But if you can replace the gossip with love and acceptance, even yeah. though we all can go to another level in Christ, I'm talking about our church, every church, everywhere. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Right. See, see, I can just get you to understand the revelation that God has put on my heart today. Stop pretending. Oh, Stop. 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 It's not the trouble. Everybody's got a trial. Amen. Everybody's Amen. a sinner saved by grace. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to realize something. Stop pretending. Give me the next verse. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, find this thing up. Amen. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall rise, raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall yeah. be forgiven. Did y'all hear that? Oh, no, did y'all hear that? See, 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 that verse right there tells you what happened when you stop pretending. Mm -hmm. If you keep on pretending, not bearing one another's burden, not sharing the love of Christ with each other, always shoot somebody down, Hallelujah. always talk about this person behind their back, stuff mm -hmm. that you won't say to their face. Oh, I'm going to give it to you this morning because I don't want Hallelujah. you to stop pretending. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me tell you what I noticed. I noticed in Magnify Philadelphia how good they can work together. Mm -hmm. I really noticed that. Let me tell you something. When sisters and brothers want to work together, they can do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you what has to happen. We got to stop pretending. Hallelujah. We got to remember we all got our own faults. Yes. We all got our own situation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We ain't perfect, but God is perfect. Yeah. Yes, he is. And that when we decide to surrender and just love anyhow, just love anyway. Love it. I, I mean, I got a whole lot of reasons why I should be upset, a whole lot of reasons why I should not want to be around you, a whole lot of reasons why sometimes you make me sick. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. But I, I'm going to move beyond that. Hallelujah. And I'm going to just love you anyway Hallelujah. and see what come out of that. Hallelujah. I'm going to see what come out of that. Hey, listen, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. Listen to me good. Do you not know that you cannot get a harvest unless you plant a seed? Yeah. Be the God. Now I'm going to let you marinate on that for a minute. Oh, I ain't going to go through fast. I want you to think about what the Holy Spirit just told me to take. You cannot reap a harvest unless you plant a seed. Amen. And there are times in your life where the reason why you're not reaping the bountiful benefits of blessing and fellowship is because you will not plant the seed. You want somebody else to do it. Oh, you better come on now. Come on in there now. You cannot have a harvest unless you plant a seed. I'm talking about fellowship. I'm talking about how you raise your eyebrows when somebody give a, a testimony that sounds like they're coming out the box and they're telling you something because they're tired of pretending. Yeah. But if we can cut off the fact that of being judgmental with what we're hearing and learn to embrace our sister and brother in Christ without gossip and judgment, the fellowship of the church would be extremely high and intensive. Mm -hmm. Because we would begin to be sensitive to each other's needs without judge. Oh my God. Come on, somebody. I mean, I want you to understand that Jesus looked beyond your sin and saw your need. Why is it that we 
Yes, Jesus. And y'all don't want me to teach stuff like this, God, because it tear every last one of us up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Make you oh, sit yeah. down in your living room chair and think about what you're doing in this Christian life. Amen. It challenges us. Oh, it challenges us to go beyond our comfort zone and really begin to live out this gospel message. Oh, live out. Loving our neighbor as ourselves. And we're never going to get down to the real deal unless we stop pretending. Yes. Honey, if it's ugly, brother, if it's ugly, if it's blow up from the flow up, all you need is a shoulder to cry on. And for somebody to tell you, listen, the storm is over now. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh, Lord, have much. I clear, I feel like running. Yeah, all, you, all you need is somebody that's genuine, not pretending, to tell you that I'm here with you, I'm going to stand by you. Listen, when you go through the flood, I'm going to hold your hand. I want you to realize, listen, I'm going to stop pretending too, because I done been through some of the same things that you're going through. And I remember the scripture that says that there's no temptation not common to man, but God who is faithful will deliver them out of them all. So I got a chance now because you're not pretending, I'm not going to pretend, and we're going to hold each other's hand, and we're going to be brothers and sisters in Christ, and we're going to make it through this yeah. crisis together. Yeah. And I want you to realize yeah. that the devil is a lie, you are not alone. Amen. Amen. Bye. 
Bishop Care Ministry. That's where people are compassionate and able to reach out to others that are in need and supply. Without stealing from the church. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See. Amen. This, 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 this is a very careful ministry. See. It's got people in here that are honest and love the Lord that just can't stand to see somebody in need. I mean, it really bothers them. I mean, they got that anointing on their life. When they see somebody with a need, they want to try to supply it. And this ain't for everybody because everybody don't have that gift. We don't. Some of you got the gift of faith. I'm talking about somebody. Let me take a specific gift I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody that has the gift of giving. That's what I'm talking about. Tell me that for him. And believe me, as we speak, we're already working on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're working on it. And we're going to be able to help people that are in need as much as the Lord allows. And I want you to realize something. You better get ready to put your seatbelt on. Amen. Because there's some people around here that's going to be working. You get ready to see people blessed, lives changed. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because let me tell you something. We live in a day when a lot of people need a whole lot today. Well, you don't know. You know, I ride down this road here. And I look at people that are mentally ill. I see a boy out on the corner. Come through here. He's out there doing all kinds of summer talks and everything on the corner. Ain't got nothing else to do. Amen. I see people that are physically challenged. Yeah. I mean, I see people hurt, y'all. It's not going to kill us to give somebody a little $25 food voucher, have some canned goods, maybe they need some toilet paper, paper towel, toothpaste. I mean, I'm talking about the things that you take for granted. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you today, that we're not going to be successful until we all stop pretending. Amen. Got to be engaged. Got to be. Let me tell you something. You think it ain't hot? I'm out on the street corner preaching, walking the street, 104 degrees in the shade, sweating like a purity pig. But let me tell you something. I am not going to pretend and stay in the church like we just need to sit up in the air condition while people are out there in the street going straight to hell. We can't do it. Them days are over. We've got to engage in, listen, we got to engage in the community. Make a difference. And we got to show the love of Jesus to people that need it the most. You know, Jesus said this. He said, those that are not sick, they don't need a physician. They don't need a physician. But those that are sick are the ones that need a physician. Let me tell you something. Let's take Dr. Jesus to the world and make a difference. Let us start with you. Make up in your mind. Make up in your mind that you are a representative of Magnify Him. Make up in your mind that you're going to make a difference for Christ before you close your eyes and leave this world. Amen. Make up your mind that it's late, but it's not too late for us to change somebody's life to make a difference. Talk to somebody yesterday. Maybe start another church. And that's what I say, Pastor, you are down Let me tell you something. Oh, God, leave me. I'll start a hundred churches. Amen. That's just how bad people need the word. Amen. Are you listening to me? And Amen. I want you to realize something. My life is not my own, and neither is yours. 
Stop pretending like it is. Do what God tells us to do. Go where God tells us to go. Do you know I sat back and felt so guilty? Vicky, do you know what I felt guilty about? Because really, I don't know where the people in Oxford homeless are. I don't know where the homeless people in Oxford are. And I sat back and thought to myself, what kind of preacher are you? You don't even know where the homeless people stay in Oxford. Where are the homeless people in Oxford? Because I know they somewhere. I know they somewhere. But doggone it, I made up my mind we're going to find some of them. We may not be able to help all of them, but we're going to help as many as we can. Let's make a difference. Let's make a difference. Let's make up our mind to be that church. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, as I feel in my spirit today that there are people today that realize that they're taking off their masks. They realizing that some been in church all their lives and never been challenged to engage in the community for the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody's never been out on the street corner, never been out giving out tracts, never even gave anything to somebody that was in need. Churches what they what didn't even didn't even think about that, but they say the best for themselves. But today, God. We're not pretending. We're really going to be soldiers for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. We're, we're going to start right here in our church, being able to really talk to each other about situations. You know, not being judgmental. And, Amen. You know, using the word of God as a sword to beat somebody over the head with. Yeah. Yeah. And let us realize, God, there are people that are need this ministry so bad but they just don't know where we are Amen. and we're going to guide them with our love and our compassion and with our care and ministry because magnify cares magnify cares huh magnify cares Amen. all these precious prayers I'm praying for the sick Shut in the down, tried to burn the heavy lady. Everybody from bringing each other. Give peace, wife. I'm praying for anyone sick among us. Those of you that have been to the doctor. Yeah. Waiting on a good report. I'm praying for all of you. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that God will heal, God will deliver. And I pray that this teacher this morning has been a wake up call to somebody. If somebody on the line today and say, Lord, you know I'm not doing enough. Then I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I can't look at this person in the mirror and act like I've really been doing a, you know, doing a lot. I have I'm not doing enough. And then we pray that God will show your pastor how to do more and make a difference. Do you know you got to pray for me like that? Amen. Pray to ask God to open up my mind and show me different ways to encourage and engage in community to make a difference for him in the world. Amen. And I'll pray to God to help you yeah. to surrender your life and be a servant for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. For all these things we pray and give thanks and honor in the name of our Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.